I'm joined here in the rooms by Tom Hawkins, Hawk, Wade, Ablett, Hawkins. 700 goals for the Geelong Cats. Yeah, um, yeah it's a bit funny because those names are, uh, in my eyes, they're, uh, they're legends. Um, but uh, yeah, look, I'm, I'm obviously it's, it's, a, it's a great milestone. <laughs> And one of my best footy memories that I've been involved in was actually um, earlier on this year when Buddy kicked his thousand. So I thought that was pretty amazing. Uh, so I've, I've only got 300 to go. Um, but uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, nice to be able to uh, do it and, and we win, win a game of footy and uh, on a road trip. We've got a few family members over here and yeah, it was nice. It was, it was um, yeah, a no, nice, nice milestone. I'm sure when you came to the Cats as a son of a gun, you never really thought you'd get this far? No, no, absolutely not. Uh, a few things have changed. Um, the game's changed. Um, you know, I've learnt and grown, uh, grown up as a, as a man uh, at this football club. I've spent, um, you know, basically half my life um, employed by the Geelong Football Club and um, the rest of the other half of my life I, I, I idolised. Um, you know the club as a, as a, as a supporter and um, and a, a young kid growing up. So um, you know, uh, yeah, it's it's um, it's certainly uh, in my blood. Um, and uh, yeah, it's pretty cool to be able to do it. I I, I didn't think that I'd I'd ever get this far in in football in terms of uh, age and um, you know in games played. I've been been extremely lucky. Um, you know, I've got a lot of people that help me along the way, and that. And that, more, most importantly, is those guys that kick it to me. So, um, you know, I'd love to know how many Joel Selwood and, and Mitch Duncan have, uh, have provided me over the years and um, they continue to do it. So, yeah, it was nice. You only have to look at the stats sheet as well to know it's not necessarily the, the goals that you base your game around, it's those goal assists as well and giving the footy off. Yeah, well, I mean, I, th I think I've, I've stated a few times publicly that it's just my philosophy on the way I play football. It's... Um, you know, people are in better positions, and, it, and I really enjoy that part of of, of my game. But I also think that um, you know that that's sort of resonated through the group too. Like it's not, and that's that hasn't come from me, but that's just a, a philosophy that's that's um, you know it's ingrained into us as Geelong players. And um, I've played with players that are that are very selfless and continue to be very selfless. So it's it's a cool part of of, of the club. Um, you know, we're not we're not a a club. We've got some superstar players, but but we're not um, we're not defined by individuals. So um, it, it's uh, yeah, I, I love that part of our game. We're starting to build a pretty dangerous forward line. Tyson Stengel was incredible up there today. Yeah, he was. I mean, it's I, mean, I, I love playing with him. He's he's, he's dangerous uh, as a small forward. Um, for me, I love the the way that he gets involved in the game, the, the contests were from contest to contest, and he's got an, uh, an amazing way to be able to um, position himself around the ground where he's always can access the game. So um, he's had some wonderful games for us. Uh, he was instrumental today, in particular, helping us win. So it was yeah, he he was great. Um, but as a whole, I thought our forward line functioned really well. Um, I thought we were organised, um, we communicated, um, and we're dangerous enough on a on a pretty blustery day. The Eagles got a few back today and it was a pretty hard fought game of footy. Yeah, it was. We, we knew that um, four Premiership stars and, um, you know, they're very, very high calibre players. Um, obviously, they lost Jeremy McGovern early, um, which, which sort of changed things for them a little bit. Um, but, you know, we knew that um, and were expecting their best football. Um, I think they've, uh, it's been well publicised how, how um, uh, impacted by COVID and injuries they've been. Um, so, we, we expected them to play well. Um, certainly, nothing. Um, so, sort of what they've produced early in the year when they were so injury depleted. So, uh, great result for us. We're happy. Uh, fly home tonight. Uh, four points. Move on to the next week. Was it good to see Sam Menegola back striding up and down the wings? Absolutely. And um, you know, we've come to know Sam to finish in front of goal. Um, that's that's what I love. He's, his work rate. Uh, he, you know he's tough. He's he's uncompromising, and he goes forward and kicks goals, and that's what he did today. So, um, a nice little stepping stone for Sam. Sam, I, I think um, you know he'll continue to play um, more more time um, through the midfield and on the wing, and 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 push forward and, and be a real threat for us. So, um, yeah, it was uh, it was great, great to get him back. The challenges keep coming. Richmond at the G next round. Yeah, they were really good um, the other night too. So um, yeah, no, another tough, tough contest. Uh, a side that um, you know, I think every, everyone right across the footballing landscape 
uh, understands they're a really, really tough side when they get things on their on their terms. A game against Carlton it was a slippery night, but they just controlled the footy really well, um, knocked it on and played played live, um, which we've come to know them play so well uh, as a brand of football in the last five, six years. So uh, we expect them to be at their best, and we'll be preparing for them. and um, And I think they've clearly shown that they are playing their best football. Congratulations, Tom. Thank you. Cheers.